Hi, I'm Taylor Holmes. Um, I'm going to be trying to design a thermoelectric water cooler that dispenses water uh, running off of DC current from a DC voltage supply, about, about 12 volts DC. I haven't really gotten all the kinks worked out yet, but basically this is the, th the system I have so far that has nothing to do with thermoelectricity. Um, I just have a water tank here inside my refrigerator and it's full of water right now. It has a little tube here that I used to fill it up with. This tube, which is connected right like this, it goes all the way to this water this water tank right here. This is completely empty right now, but Every time I feel like um, filling up the water tank that's in the refrigerator, what I do is I have this thing full of about this line right here and this tube right here. Uh, I have it elevated like this so that any time I want to fill the tank in the refrigerator, I basically will bring this down and it automatically just drains into the refrigerator. I thought that was pretty nifty, but um, I'm going to take it a step, just a really huge leap, actually. I'm going to take the entire system out of the refrigerator and not use the refrigerator cooling anymore. I'm going to actually build a water cooler that functions off of a completely different power supply. Um, I'm going to be using, like I said, thermoelectric coolers. I'm going to be using a... 12 volt power supply, heat sink, a thermostat, which is the thing I'm trying to find right now. Um, I'm going to be using a fan to cool the hot side of the thermoelectric cooler. Off the top of it, I'm going to be using like a Rubbermaid or an Igloo water container. I'm going to be using, I might also find parts from a, t a toilet supply store. Um, and I'm going to be using that so that it will automatically fill the water cooler every time the water level gets low or every time it dispenses water. It will just automatically fill back up and continue to cool the water. The thermostat is going to be something I'm going to buy from a refrigerator supply store. That is going to, uh, that's going to be really hard to do. The, the cheapest, um, waterproof thermostat I could find because I'm going to have to submerge the thermostat in water for it to be able to really know the temperature of the water. I'm going to have to, the, the cheapest one of those I could find was like 80 or 90 bucks on the internet and I'm just, I'm just, that's way out of my price range. I'm sorry, I'm just not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a regular 120 volt AC thermostat that's used for refrigerators I'm going to put it inside of a waterproof enclosure and sink it down to the bottom of the water cooler so that it knows the temperature of the water. Um, once I do that, um, if it seals, I'll know that it's safe because it's 120 volts and I don't, I don't want that to leak water into that circuit at all, otherwise it'll just fry everything, blow the fuses all that shit. I do not need a short circuit through this at all. That thermostat is going to be connected to the, it's going to actually be not connected to the Pelter units and all that, it's going to be connected to the DC power supply so that every time it shuts off, it just shuts off the entire circuit including the DC power supply. So I'm just not, I'm not just wasting electricity when the cooler is turned off. That's, that's my plan anyway. So, whenever I start getting parts, I'm going to start adding more to this footage. And um, until then, I'm just going to keep using the old school system that I have right here.